All right. Welcome again. So uh, I remain Dipo of Adepoju, Dipo Adepoju, and today we'll be talking about market maker cycle. I will be introducing you to market maker cycle. Now, market maker cycle is like uh, uh, how markets, how the market maker move the market. Let me just put it that way. That way. How the market maker moves the market in certain directional words movement the way they move the market in certain trend in certain movement probably upward or downward now the reason why we say cycle is that because these things happen on uh, on repetitions you understand it repeats itself it comes up from up down then at the point in time reverse back up then now Understanding market maker cycle will give you almost everything you need in the market. I said almost because that's just a simple truth. Almost. It can give you everything, but it will give you like 80% of what you need in the market. Why did I say 80%? Because 80% of the time, this market maker cycle occurs in the market, 80 to 90% of the time. It occurs in the market. You see it on almost all time frame on all time frame you see it be it on one minute on 15 minutes on one hour on four hours on 30 minutes all time frames you see this market maker cycle appearing over and over again go to last 10 years go to last five years go to a decade ago go to two decades ago you will see these things in the forex market in the financial market not only in the forex market in uh in this size market in uh commodity market almost all market that i've tried to cross, even in crypto market you will see these cycles appearing in the market now uh uh this like i said earlier on this cycle appears 80 to 90 percent of time in the market now 10 percent of time you you understand that you are in battle against humans no not not against computerized uh, programming software you are in battle against human so they, they won't want to make it 100 percent and even the market maker cycle are different variations so it depends on how you familiarize yourself with the market to deeply understand what market maker cycle is all about now we this section is actually divided into two videos and uh this the first one i'll be explaining on whiteboard what market maker cycle is and then the other video which is the video two of this section uh i'll take you down to the mt4 template why we we both be marking the market maker cycle out on our chart. Now you see that there's no fluke in what I'm saying. These things work efficiently in the market. Now, let me tell you the importance of market maker cycle. The first thing is you will have an idea of where a market trend is about to start. An idea of where the market trend is about to start market trend is about to start you have an idea of where how long the trend will last and also you will have an idea of possible sorry possible pullbacks or consolidation periods in the market. And finally, you will have an idea of where the market trend will likely stop or reverse. Now, this is like, a big weapon it's just like you having an atomic bomb in your ass now you know how powerful you you will be now if you understand the market maker cycle and you understand these things i've listed here it's like a weapon an atomic weapon you have in your ass now now you can boastfully walk around boastfully walk around like the word powers and say oh don't do this to me i can't you know 
when you have an idea of where the market is going to start, where the market is going to pause, take a break, consolidate, and where the market is likely going to reverse. What else do you need in the market? I think that is everything we need in the market. Apart from our psychology, that is everything we need in the market. And this market maker cycle, we give that to you. Now, I will be drawing the market maker cycle and I will explain each terms used in this template. So let's, uh, let's move on. So now let, let me draw the market maker cycle so I, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can see what I'm talking about. This this cycle, how it will repeat itself over and over again. Now, when I draw it, you'll be like, "Wow, this thing is like magic." But it, no, it's not magic. It's what you've seen in the market, but you didn't pay attention to it or whatsoever. You understand? And then you might want to beat yourself up. Oh, come on! Why didn't I pay attention? If I've known this for a why I wouldn't have. It's all right. It's all right. You can still make all those money back. So calm down and just learn. Just listen. So let us go ahead. I hope you've written this down. I will have to clean it right now so I can draw on my board. I will have to clean it right now so I can draw on my board. So now I want to draw. Now, market maker cycle. This is the real template. Now, this is our cycle for a downtrend, and this is our cycle for what? For uptrend. Sorry, so as I was saying, uh, we have our what? Uh, sorry about that. That was network issue. So we have our what? Our cycle just like this. Uh, this is from down. The market was coming from down. Then this is how we know it's going to reverse. And this is a, another market. cycle and this means the market is coming from up oh uh, okay let me i'm coming just hold on just hold on let me let me mark it right uh okay now this is our market cycle this means the market is going up coming from down and this means the market is coming down let me put it that way uh it's not compulsory you put it if you like you can just there's no need for it. I'm just trying to show you the directional bias. So let me just remove it. So we can have, now this is our market maker cycle. This is what the market looks like. If you go check it through over and over again, this is what our market looks like. This is the directional movement of the market almost 80 to 90% of the time in the market. Now, if you have 80 to 90% accuracy in the market, then what else are you looking for in the market? Huh? Please tell me, what else are you looking for uh, for when you have 80 to 90% of uh, uh, your trade coming in? That is, that is absolutely wonderful. Yesterday, I was talking to one of my students and I was like, after like four or five months, I was like, let me check up on this guy. Uh, because at times I like to check up on my students, enter their DMs, make, a phone call through to them, check up on them. We have a general community, right? But then I still do check up on them to, to know how far they are doing personally, you know? So I, I just called him and I was like, hey guy, how are you doing? He said, it's fine. How is this, how is trading going? Have you been making any? Then he started explaining to me that he has about 80% win rate. I was like, wow, wow. That is great. That is exactly what I'm talking about. You understanding this market cycle, we give you 80 to 90% of your grid coming in. 
if you are patient enough for it to appear the way it should appear. So exactly that is what we are about starting with. Now, this is like a total freedom when you understand it. So I want you to pay full attention to everything I we have to say here, because this introduction is like the basis of everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. It is the basis of everything. So listen as we take. Now, we'll be looking at them, we'll be marking them out, and uh, we will strictly be uh, uh, using them as our future way references in our future references now this template like i said before is the totality of the market it happens 80 to 90 percent of the time now let us look at each stage in the market and let's look at what each stage mean in the market now this stage here as you can see i, I prefer to call it m structure it looks like this mostly in the market looks like this looks like this mostly in the market so now this m structure we call it a peak formation high. That's the first thing we give it, peak formation high. That's the first name we give it, the peak formation high. Let me, let me, let me try and type it down here so you, we, can, we can have it. The peak, the peak I'm talking about is this formation high. Now that's, Peak formation I means that, okay, the market has been moving from a downtrend for a while, for a number of days, for a number of weeks, depending on the time frame you're looking at, for a number of hours, depending on the time frame you're looking at. And at a point in time, the market couldn't move up again. The market has completed its cycle. The market has, is tired. The market wants to change its directional bias. That is where we have this kind of formations in the market. When the market has been moving up for a while, and at a point in time, at a point in time, the market says, okay, I've given up. I, I, I don't want to buy again. I don't want to go up again. I want to move down. That is the meaning of the peak formation high. Now, big formation are in most scenarios occurs as M. We call it the M structure in the market. The M structure in the market. Now, I, I, I forgot to tell you something. Something you should actually uh, 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 put in mind. Market moves in theories. I don't know how. They move in three levels. Everything they do, they do most of it in three days, three to five days. But market moves in theories. I don't know if that English is correct, but I'm talking about forex here. Yeah? So I, I will explain. I will. I, I, I will. I'm hoping you get what I'm trying to say. Now, I will continue, and I'll come back to that later on. Now, again, I repeat: market was coming all the way from down. And at a point in time, it's got exhausted. Oh, come on, I'm tired. Oh, come on, I can't move up again. Oh, come on, I need to stop here. I need to change my direction. Oh, I've forgotten something at home. I need to go back home and pick it up. Oh, I don't know, whatever scenario you want to put it, put in for it, market at a point in time while rising up must show you a peak formation high and reverse must show you a peak formation high and reverse. Now, when you see a peak formation high, after the completion of an upward cycle, a peak formation high occurs. And that gives you an idea that the market is about to what? Return down. It is as simple as that. That gives you an idea that the market is about to do what? Return down. It is as simple as that. No, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. It is very, very important to get it because it is everything in the market. Again, market was moving up, was moving up, was moving up. At a point in time, market got tired, right? Now, when market got tired, market was like, it has exhausted the cycle, it has done its three level rise. When rise, when upward trend is about to reject, is about to pull down. It will show you what we call a peak formation high. Now, depending on the time frame, 
we can as well call this particular region the eye of the day. We can as well call this particular region the eye of the day. Sorry, those are my nephews. <laughs> we can as well call it high of the day. We can as well call it high of the day. We can as well call it high of the week. And we can as well call it I of the month. Please take note of these things. They are very, very important. High of the month. Now, I, as I've explained, I of the day just means the peak of the day. They give you, when they get to the peak of the day and they want to reject, they give you this formation also. When they get to I of the week, it's also, we call it that, that also. They give you this kind of rejection pattern. When you get to eye of the month, don't worry, we are going to take it a step at a time. Don't worry. But these are the times we call that region where market is about to reverse after what a complete cycle of what an uptrend. Now, finally, we call this level theory also. We call this level theory. So let's take it. Uh, uh, we call this level three. So let's take it a, a, a step at a time. Let's take it a step at a time. Now, after markets, I, I will be using this, sorry. I'll be using this uh, templates as, uh, this is my drawings. I, I don't want to rub it off. So we can use it over and over again. So now, uh, okay, now let's continue. Now, after I have my M formation, which is my peak formation I, is it easier to call it peak formation I or level three? Now, after I have my peak formation I, what happens? That's the next question, right? Now, we have something we call a drop. That this market starts to pull down after my peak formation I. And now, when that market pull down, we call that pull down level one drop. So I come here and I label this movement from up here to here as level one drop. Are we together? I call that as level one drop. Now, after my level one drop, something happened in the market. Something will happen in the market. Market will take a break. Go and study. Go and, we will check these things through. I will explain with chat also. So there's no icky panky right here. I, I'm going to explain with chat also. So after your M, which is your reversal point, market drops. Pew! Market starts falling down, falling down like a mango tree. <laughs> you know, that popular. Uh, 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 punishment, I mean, or is it joke they give us? I think it's punishment in sec high school then. They say you should fall like a mango tree or, or thereabout, I can't remember again. Now, you market falls. Now, that movement, that sharp movement, that fast movement, that fall without a break is called level one drop. Now, when we are done with level one drop, when market exhausts that movement, market will take a break. That is the period you think market is consolidating. Market is taking a break to accumulate orders. Market, market makers are taking a break to deceive people. Now, at this particular point, market maker will what? Consolidate the market or pull back the market a little. Now, this particular point is what we call level one pullback, pullback or consolidation region. Now, we also call it stop pointing region. I will explain, I will explain. I will explain. Now, you will agree with me, you are an intelligent trader, you, you've been trading for a while, even if you are new, doesn't matter, but you agree with me that people are likely to make money when the market is just dropping. 
right? But when the market gets to consolidation region, you will agree with me that you lose money. If not every time, a whole lot of time, times, you lose money in the market. So the question is why? The market maker has stopped haunting you. They are accumulating orders to deceive you out of the market. Don't worry, this explanation of market maker psychology, you'll find it in market maker psychology video. But this thing I'm telling you is real. Think about it. You don't want to trade consolidation period, why? Because you don't know where the directional bias of the market is going to go. But no, you're a market maker now. You treat like a market maker now. You understand the market like a market maker now. What market makers are trying to do at this particular stage of level one pullback or consolidation region, also known as the haunting region, is to accumulate orders, is to take orders, to deceive people, into placing position in the market and all of a sudden drag the market away from them. That's the reason why you enter your market at times. Oh, it is holding resistance level. Oh, it is holding support level. But all of a sudden, your market, it stops. All of a sudden, your, your setup, you, you lose your setup. All of a sudden, these things happen. It has happened to you. Think. Now, at a particular point in time, the market maker will consolidate the market. And the period of this consolidation is what we call what market level one pullback after a drop. After a drop, this is for downtrend. Let me just write it here. Downtrend. Sorry about that. Downtrend. This is for up trend. Sorry, I'm still with the writing stuff. Okay, now downtrend, uptrend. Now we're talking about that the market drops from peak formation I. After that rejection, big pattern of M, market drops. And it's real fast. At a particular point in time, when you run, when you run with your race, at a particular point in time, you must change button, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You must change button. And when you change button, you give it to another person. Now, the period of you changing button is the period of the market maker manipulating the market. Now, at that particular period, the market maker will do what? Switch, destroys accounts accumulate orders, then all of a sudden they destroy orders. Now, after what our level one pullback or consolidation region, which is this, let me show you here, which is this, this is what the market will do again. The market will pull back after our level one drop, probably consolidate, I have, just have to use this template like this, accumulate, it could be for hours, it could be for days, depending on the time frame you are using it, it could be for a week, depending on the time frame you are looking at it from, accumulate orders or consolidate, if it's just pull back, they will pull back, if it's not just pull back, they will consolidate, 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 and all of a sudden, at the point in time, they will just drop again, pew! Think about these things. These things are real. These things happens in the market every now and then. It's just that you don't see it. And I need you to see it. So now look at this. The market consolidate, consolidate, and all of a sudden the market drops again. Now this period of consolidating, we call it a level one consolidation or pullback region of the market. Now, come on. Now, you can definitely tell me what this period means in the market. After your level one consolidation of pullback, level one has exhausted its period. It has exhausted its, uh, 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 what was it called? It has exhausted its uh, uh, energy. Then we enter level two, you give the button to another person. The market gives the button to another level. Now we enter level two, what? Level two drop. So why, this is why we call this place, what? Our level two drop in the market. Our level two drop in the market. 
our level two drop in the market. Now, when market drops, a lot of people are making money. You don't expect people to make money and the market maker not to take it away from them again. That is why you at times you see you make money in the market and at a particular point in time, you lose all the money. They understand you. They understand your psychology. That's why there's a video for market maker psychology separately. Are you getting me? It is as easy as that, seriously. I need you to get it. I need you to get it well. Now, at this particular point, when market starts moving down again, and it's moved down, we have our level two drop. Remember, this is our level one drop. We have our level two drop here. Now, market at, after level two drop, we rest. It will change button again. That period of changing button to the third runner is that rest period in the market. It's what we call the consolidation period or the pullback period, another pullback period in the market. You have to understand this thing. It is not easy. It is not difficult, rather. It is easy. It is not difficult. It's just for you to see and to practice so you can understand where. Don't worry. We are going to mark it out on charts so you can understand perfectly well. Now, at this particular point in time, market takes another break, right? Market takes another word, another break. Now, this break here again, we call it our level two pullback consolidation or stop point. Stop point means period market, period market maker release the market a whole lot of time, right? So I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Market is simple. Now look at what happened. Remember I said market moves in three levels. Now let's see what happened in third level. Now market will do war, another war, and let's drop again. Look at it. Okay, let me come here and explain again. After this level two drop, market starts to consolidate, right? Or pull back. It do it for probably a few hours, a few days, or a week, depending on the time frame you are looking at it from. Then all of a sudden, it drops again one more time. So this is this level two what? Level two consolidation or pull back. I will show you, don't worry. Now this is, after this level two pullback, you've changed your button. And this is what our level three words draw. So that is the reason why the third runner is taking the button now and it's running. Where we will end our relay race. At level three, let me tell you something. At a point now, When the market is at level three, there's something that should come that should be in your mind. Anytime market is at level three, it means that market is about to what? To reverse. Anytime market is at level three, it means that, oh, calm down, calm down. The market is about to reverse. Oh, calm down, calm down. Don't, don't, don't rush it. Don't rush this. The market is about to reverse. Now, at a level three region, remember what I said initially, that market will tell you where the trend is likely going to stop. You begin to know where the trend is likely going to stop when you enter level three region in the market. That was the reason why the other day I posted, uh, I predicted NZDCHF. On, on, on Twitter community, uh, Forex Twitter. And some of them were like, ah, it will still go up. I was like, come on, that's dumb. But a lot of people don't understand. I can't, it's not easy to explain to, to them. But the market played just exactly four hours straight. Exactly just like that. When market enter third levels of rise or drop, you should know that market will reverse very soon. You should know that market will reverse very soon. You should put it at the back of your mind that market will reverse very soon. So yeah, this is exactly now what happened. After this level three drop, we entered 
another word, another peak region, which is peak formation low or low of the day or low of the week or low of the month or you can still say level theory region. It's also a stop hunting region, but let's just leave it like that for now. I will explain the stop hunting region for you. Because these things happen on all time frame. It's not difficult. Now, when I'm in level three, I begin to know that, okay, market will show you guys. Now, this formation year is a confirmation that the market will reverse. This formation year, a big confirmation that the market will, will do what the market will reverse. That's a downtrend. I hope you understand. It's very important for me that you understand. This thing is not difficult. So let us take it again. Now, now that market has dropped, a market, let's assume market want to reverse back up. Now look at it. Our peak formation low, right? Peak formation low, just like we have here. So we have all this detail here. Our peak formation low, either low of the day, either low of the week, either it could be our peak formation could be low of the day, our peak formation could be low of the week, our peak formation could be low of the month. Our peak formation is also known as level three. Now, after this, market rise, three levels, you know, I told you, market rises, and look at it, we call this our level one rise. Our level one what? Our level one rise, right? Now, after our level one rise, right, we have what? A pullback or a resting period, but I don't call it resting period because this period is accumulation period in the market. Market maker use this to destroy accounts, to blow accounts, to, to make people weak. Now, this period, we call it our level one pullback. Or consolidation or stop hunting period in the market. Now, look at it. After it has done its consolidation period, market will rise again, right? After market rose, it enter the rising, rising, uh, it's rising means it, it is on level two rise. And after it's exhausted level two rise, it changes its button, gives the button to another runner. It enter another consolidation region, which is level two consolidation. or pull back region in the market. Then after this, it rose up one more time, big time to give us what our level theory, right? Remember what I said, when market is at this particular point, you should know that market is about to do what? To reverse. It's as simple as that. Nothing is difficult. Now, when market is about to reverse, we have then have forward all this back in the market. Our peak formation I, our peak formation, our peak for HOD, our HOW, and our HOM. I should also consider as level three. Now I've been able to do justice to what uh, 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 for downtrend and for uptrend. Now, my assignment here is. I know you understand. And if you don't understand, what you just need to do is to watch and watch and watch this video over again. Now, my assignment is draw this thing in your book, in your Jota, in your exercise book, draw it and label them. Give it, draw it, draw the pattern. You can draw it a number of times, label it for what's from what you have in the video, then you can keep drawing it and keep giving them names. Now, in the next video, that's why I said we are going to put this video into two. I will show you these things on real chat. On what? On real chats. I will show you these things on real chat. All right. 
thank you very much. Uh, see you in the next video for practical class.